So these are the reasons why I have sold out of my position completely in what used to be my largest holding in uranium stock. Hi, this is Fabi from The Next Big Rush. This is the channel where we talk about growing your wealth through smart investing. If that's something that you would like to do, then please click on the like and subscribe button so that you'll see more videos like this. So if you've been following me, following me for any amount of time, then you know that I was very big into Western uranium that later on became Western uranium and vanadium. So I made a few videos on this channel, which were, by the way, completely not sponsored by the company. They were completely independent of the company. And I basically laid out my case as to why I thought that company in particular provided a possibility of a great return, deep value, and why I thought that was where I was putting my money. And it was my largest holding up until not that long ago and some of the reasons that i bought it in the first place i want to lay, lay it out here kind of quickly because most of you have seen this basically the management team was composed of at least one person that had gone through the whole cycle before and had been very successful which is george glazier the ceo of the company uh, glazier or glazier maybe that's how you pronounce it i'm not quite sure in any case, he was uh, one of the people who actually founded what we know today to be energy fuels. Now, energy fuels I will buy every day, all day, pretty much with a blindfold and not worry about um, its ability to execute because it became a multiple bagger, very successful company, and it actually became a producer. And that's the key. Western Uranium and Vanadium, uh, Vanadium is a developer company and so it, within that development stage you want the people in the management team to have that experience obviously to look at them and say okay that so you have you know taken a project into fully you know into full production so obviously you're the best person for the job now what has happened since I bought into the company is uh, basically it's gone up a lot in price I told you guys here on my channel that they were raising for 60 eight cents and then the price just about went up fivefold so to you guys well done for those of you who actually took action and bought it either in the open market or participated in the private placement you get that plus the warrants great job however what I have seen within the company itself is that there have been pretty much uh, bad news regarding the mill and the, the license to use the mill, which has been pretty much lost. The other thing is I don't really like the fact that they're now trying to sell the vanadium story. Um, it's not bad in and of itself. Obviously, the, you know, the earth that they own, the dirt that they own is worth more because of the vanadium. So it's only fair that they advertise and market that. Um, but I don't like it how, you know, just a year ago they were trying to put a plan into place as to how they were going to monetize the uranium and how the ablation technology was going to make it possible and how you know it was very doable and would be profitable at a certain point. Then even though ura the uranium price rose in the meantime, vanadium rose um, at a much, much larger percentage. And so now um, if you go over and talk to the guys in the company, it's all about vanadium and not uranium. And so it seems that maybe the company's just trying to buy time and just try to live as long as possible. The other thing is that I don't see an ease of financing as I would expect from somebody that's such a star as George. Now, because there's so much weight to his name, I would expect him to come to the market, come to the, you know, the money guys, the Rick rules of this world and raise money like this. And I have not seen that. I have seen that they take a long time to raise and then when they raise, it's not very long until they have to raise again. And so I don't really see a strong management team that is an actual team. I see, you know, maybe a couple of guys working and the story and the story is good, but I would like to see, you know, if a developer is serious about developing the project, I would like to see more people, a full-on team, 
an actual news flow that advances the projects that they have. You know, I want real news, I want good to great news, and it has to flow. You know, there needs to be feasibility studies and more advancing of whatever they have in place right now. And it just doesn't seem to happen with Western uranium and vanadium right now. So this is why I am out. I made a nice profit, although I could have done a lot, lot better. And you know, this is it. I get my money back and get to live another day, get to reinvest it in a few other opportunities. Doesn't mean that Western is gonna go bad. It might actually do really, really well. They might actually get into production someday. Who knows? But um, these are the reasons why for now, I am sitting this one out. I am watching it very closely, uh, but just the last year or so hasn't really done it for me within the context of the fundamental story of the company. Okay, so what do you think? Are you in, are you out of Western? Let me know here down in the comments section. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.